Commission for Higher Education says a new college coaching program is showing some early signs of promise. CBS 4's Hannah Adamson explains those signs and why they say it's crucial that the program continues to expand. Last year, the General Assembly allocated $5 million for college success programs, specifically for low-income prospective and current college students. Half of the money was spent on creating approximately 30 or so coaching positions for institutions statewide. Now, the Indiana Commission for Higher Education, or CAG, says it wants to use the rest of the money to extend its current contracts with those coaches and to potentially expand the program. We have seen success and thought that was something worth replicating across the campuses. Michelle Ashcraft with the CAG says thanks to the College Success Program grant, 22 of Indiana's four-year universities have been able to provide coaching services to kids in the 21st Century Scholars Program. It is connecting them to career services um, and opportunities for work-based learning like internships and those sorts of things so hopefully when they graduate we can keep them here. Ashcraft also says nearly all colleges participating in the student success coaching initiative are reporting higher enrollment and FAFSA filing numbers. While it's too early to tell for us to know statewide what our enrollment rate looks like, it's a good early indicator that at least some of those campuses are already reporting that trend. The move comes as fewer high school students are deciding to go to college. The CAG says since 2020, Indiana's college-going rate has remained stagnant at 53 percent, a drop from 63 percent back in 2017. Are we doing a good job in middle school and high school to prepare kids? And then in that transition, what can we do with whatever they are bringing to the table? That's where the success coaches, I think, could be helpful. While the CHE says campuses will need to figure out how to sustain the coaching positions past fiscal year 2025, the number of new students enrolled in the 21st Century Scholars Program could more than double by 2027. In past years, roughly 20,000 new students would be enrolled. But now this year, thanks to a new auto enrollment policy, we enrolled uh, nearly 46,000. If we can get a good system that's working really well for the current scholars that are enrolled, we'll be more prepared for, for the future influx that's coming. Reporting from the State House, I'm Hannah Adamson.